The Lakeside Centre has been a five-year project to convert it from a disused, unloved, iconic building back into what we hope will become the heart of the community here. It should be able to cater for everyone with things like the Enterprise Kitchen. That should attract a variety of different people. The cafe is going to be a public space, so it's open to the public seven days a week. And then obviously the nursery cage for that young families. The great thing about affordable workspace is it attracts a wide variety of different practices. So that we already on site have an affordable darkroom space. We've also got mosaic makers, fashion designers, painters. So there's a real wide range of different people who are based on this site. And for the artists, that's brilliant because that means they can share skills with each other and develop their own practice. We also have a very active landscape programme and we actually have a gardener in residence who's been working with the artists here on developing this amazing allotment garden. And that already is just flourishing and overgrowing with food and produce that will then go into supply the kitchen. We've got an amazing hire space on the roof. So you could come and have your event here and hire the roof out and that'd be catered for by the Enterprise Kitchen. So for us, it's about finding every opportunity where the building can start to serve the people and the businesses that are going to be in it and working in it. I've been creating professional public arts for well over 30 years now and grew up in this area. So for me, it's really fantastic to be in a location that feels connected with the local community. And I normally have two people working here with me as assistants, helping to make mosaics. I'm an artist and I'm also a teaching assistant. I work with children with special needs locally. There are some amazing people having studios here and us being able to have little gardens downstairs, that really means a lot as well. We go by Scully and Scully and make films and videos. We also run a project space called Thamesmead, Texas, and our current project is the Thamesmead Travelling Cinema, which is behind us. We set up Thamesmead, Texas as a way of spotlighting local artists, local talent, and we've run 13 exhibitions over 13 months before we got to building the cinema. And we're also working with young people who we're recruiting currently as volunteers to help us run our community cinema. We're working in the community to empower the community to decorate their own homes, not to restore their furniture. We're also setting up a community cooperative so we can teach people to grow their own food, to have a healthy lifestyle so they'll be able to eat well and live well in their own homes. For us as a charity, one of the most important things is how we engage with and become a part of the community here in Thamesmead. The GLA have done some amazing research and very clearly stated that one in six jobs in the capital is a creative job. And if those creatives are no longer able to live here, then that economy will move elsewhere. I think that's just one reason why it's important for us to ensure that we can support creatives living here. But I think more fundamentally, it goes to the relationships that those creative professionals are able to build with the local community, the informal investment that they make in their area, the ad hoc projects that they will develop with their neighbours and with others. I've had conversations with residents who live just in the towers opposite the lake here. And even though they may not have been inside, just the fact that they can see it's an open and active building already makes such a huge difference to them. The support of the GLA in opening this building has been crucial and a renovation job like this, the amount of effort and work and cost into it to make it long term sustainable is huge. As a charity, our whole driving factor is keeping things affordable for artists and the communities that we serve. So the GLA support has meant that we're able to take a long lease on this building and actually deliver meaningful affordability.